You ever send an invoice and then spend days refreshing your inbox wondering if they ever got it? Or worse, you follow up and they say, oh, can you resend it? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stop chasing clients and get paid faster using three easy automations in FreshBooks. Whether you're a coach, consultant, freelancer, or anyone who sends invoices, this is for you. Back when I ran my first business, an e-learning agency around 2011, I spent way too much time chasing payments and the inconsistent cash flow really hurt my business. I started using FreshBooks all the way back then and it's wild how far it's come. Today, it's not just invoicing software, it's basically my billing assistant. It sends invoices, reminds clients, and even charges late fees automatically. Let's hop in and I'll show you how you can get paid faster with less hassle. Also, a huge shout out to FreshBooks for sponsoring this video. First, to get started with FreshBooks, click the link below, and when you do, you can get 50% off for six months, or if you want, you can get a 30-day trial for completely free. You can enter your email address or just sign up with Google or Apple. There's no credit card needed. So here we are in the FreshBooks dashboard. And before we even jump into any of the automations, if you wanna get paid instantly two times faster, then you wanna set up online payments. So just go to settings right here, go to online payments. And here within a few clicks, you can set up FreshBooks payments, which is powered by Stripe or PayPal. And once you do that, your clients will have the ability to pay online directly within your invoices, which again, has been shown to get you paid up to two times faster. Next, we wanna set up our items and services so we can easily add them to our invoices. So just go to items and services. And for this example, let's say that we are a Google ads agency or freelancer or consultant, however you wanna call it. And so there's two kinds of things you can add, products or items and services. So let's say we wanted to add our first service here. And so we go create new service. And then let's say we're selling Google ads campaign setup. And so this is setting up their ads campaign. And let's say we charge $1,000 for this and we can set taxes if we want. I won't do that for now. And let's just save it. And boom, that is our first item. You can see I already made another item here, Google Ads Consulting, but let's make another one real quick. And because ads are an ongoing service, ongoing management, you wanna be able to charge an ongoing fee and we'll get to that recurring billing section, but I'll set it up for now. So we have two basic services here. We added, so we have $1,000 to set up their campaign, let's say, and then we have a management fee. And if they need some more help in consulting, let's just say we charge $150 an hour. So those are, let's say our three basic services. And we can even maybe sell some items. So you can see I've already created an item here, which is a Google Ads optimization bundle. So let's say we sell some digital products, but let's add an item to show you how easy it is. And so let's just say we add something called Google Ads Secrets. It's a digital course we offer. And let's say this is $4.99. And so we save it. And so we have that item in there as well. Next, real quick, we want to set up our basic company information so it automatically gets added to all our invoices. Let's just go to settings, basic information, enter your name, enter your phone number. In my fictional example here, our company's called Ads Pro, and enter your address details. If you'd like, this is optional, but it always makes you look more professional. You can upload your logo, you can set your theme colors and save that, and it'll automatically get added to your invoices, and you can see the address we set up is there as well. So it just makes everything look a lot more professional and you don't have to enter this stuff manually every time. Okay, so the first automation you can use to get paid faster is to set up automated payment reminders. We all hate those dreaded follow-up emails where the client hasn't paid and you gotta send them an email to remind them, but you also don't really wanna sour the relationship or kind of create friction between both of you because you wanna retain the client. And sometimes it just feels like a lose-lose situation. Like if you don't email them, you're not gonna get paid. If you do, maybe you'll annoy them. But this is where FreshBooks can really help because it's going to send all of those reminders for you so they look like the bad guy and not you and your client just realizes it's an automated email and just part of your process. So to set that up we just go to invoices and we go to new invoice 
And so immediately we can see our logo was pulled in, our address was pulled in, and next we need to add a client. So you can pre-create clients or you can create one right here in a few clicks, but I'll choose one we've already created. And so you can set the date of issue, the due date, the invoice number. If you have a reference, you can set that as well. And then when we're ready to invoice, we can go to add line and just pick the items we set up. So let's say we're setting up this campaign for them for the first time. And so that is a thousand dollars is what we said. Um, you can add notes or terms or add any attachments if you'd like as well. And then here is the feature I'm specifically talking about. You can go to send reminders and you can send up to three reminders and you can say automatically send payment reminders for this client invoices. And so you can have three days after the due date, then you can have 15 days after the due date and you can have 30 days after the due date. If you click here, you can personalize the messages a little bit right from within here. Or if you want a little bit more customization, you can go to the email templates page and you can modify all the emails here, but messages it sends already are pretty good. And if you wanted to, you could actually do this before. You could do this before and this one after. So you could do one before and two after. That's what I would recommend because if you send the email ahead of time as a reminder, that can just kind of get them to pay it right before the due date. So you can play around with this here and set up your reminders. This saves me so much administrative time and honestly, sometimes I forget who's due and who's not because all your clients could be on a different schedule. So this really just keeps the money flowing. And in fact, if you do want a bird's eye view of who's paid, who's not, and what the status of everything is, when you create invoices in FreshBooks, it adds everything down here so you can see who you've sent the invoices to, who's paid, who's in draft status and so on. So if you do need to send that manual follow-up as well with a little bit more of a personalized touch, you can easily keep track of it. Now, the next type of automation you can set up to get paid faster is to create recurring invoices. If you have clients on retainer or you have billing cycles that repeat every month, this feature is a game changer. So just go to recurring templates and click new recurring template. Now, everything we set up here is the exact same as an invoice. So I'll do that quickly. And in our example here, we've already set the client up with the campaign setup, but now we need to bill them $500 a month because we have an ongoing management fee because we're doing ads for them and you always got to monitor and optimize the ads. So it's $500 a month and then you will see here recurring schedule. So just click that and you can do monthly on this date. Let's say I want it to be the first of every month. So I can set that and it could be an infinite number or a specific number of invoices if it's only for so many months the client's already agreed to and it's going to send the invoices for you automatically and that is it. You just save it and everything is done and you can send it to the client right now and you can see it's auto sent and they have that. Now, another little trick you can do with this feature is, let's say you have a high ticket item, let's say you're selling a $2,000 coaching program or something like that, or a $2,000 online course, you could actually split it up into multiple payments. You could say like four invoices of 250 over four months. So this is another way you can use this recurring feature even if it's not for an indefinite amount of time. Now, another really powerful feature is the auto pay feature where with your client's permission, you can actually have it come directly out of your client's account. So just like your Netflix subscription, it just gets billed. You don't need to worry about sending emails or chasing them down. It's just getting paid on that fixed schedule automatically. So if your client is okay with that, that's definitely something you can set up. I have a few clients that do allow me to do this and this feature alone has saved me so much administrative time and I just have a lot more predictability with those clients and I can just make better investments in my business because I know what's coming in. Now the third option to get paid faster is extremely powerful but it's one you definitely need to be careful with and I'm talking about automated late payments. Here's the truth. Sometimes clients need a little extra, let's say motivation in order to pay your bills. And that's exactly where the late fees come in. Studies show that invoices with late fees get paid up to 92% of the time and 
it sets a professional precedent because you're being compensated for the wait. It tells your client that your time is valuable. Again though, this is something you definitely want to communicate up front with your clients. You can't make this a surprise at the last minute. So if you have an agreement with them, make sure it's communicated what the late fees are and the structure and the terms for how they'll be calculated. But if late fees do make sense for your situation, then FreshBooks makes this really easy because you don't have to calculate anything manually and everything gets billed automatically. And once again, they're going to see it as part of your process and not that you sent them a manual email or you're upset or something and you change their invoice because you're angry at them or, you know, you want to teach them a lesson or anything like that, right? You know, human psychology is really weird. So all of this gets done automatically. They know up front. So let me show you how it works. Works. So within any invoice, you have the option to charge late fees. You just check this box and you can decide, is it a flat fee you want to charge? Is it a percentage of the invoice, a percentage of the outstanding balance? Do you want to give them a bit of a grace period? Like maybe you want to say, okay, it only kicks in 14 days after it's due. And then you can save that and it will automatically start adding and calculating late fees for those invoices that are overdue. Again, it's a really powerful feature, but make sure you use it with the right clients when you have set the right expectations. So I focused on invoices mainly here, but if your process involves sending estimates or proposals, FreshBooks takes care of that for you too. Real quick, if you want to create a new estimate, then go to create new estimate and filling it in is exactly the same as filling in an invoice and you can easily send your estimate to your customer and then you can mark it as accepted if they accept it and you can convert it to an invoice in just one click. So this is really great if you run the type of business where you just need to give someone a quick quote so that they can decide to move forward or not. And if they do move forward, you just need to quickly invoice them and start doing the work. But if you need something a little bit more elaborate where it's more of a complex sale or you really need to explain your methodology, then you're going to love the proposals feature. So go to create new and go to proposal. And it's very similar to an estimate, except you can add a lot more information. So here's an example of a proposal we as a Google ads expert in this scenario might be able to send. So we have an overview, we have a scope of work, and we're going to tell them what services are included and in our timeline. And we have images around our timeline just to make us look more professional. And so you see our services right here. And what's really cool is you can actually ask your client for a signature on this proposal. You can go to require signature and you can either send it to them or you can grab a link, which makes it really easy. And then they get to click and sign it right here. And when they've signed it, you'll see it show up signed in your dashboard and you'll see it move to accept it. And then you can go over here and convert it to an invoice just like everything else. So here's the thing about FreshBooks. There are a lot of other tools that can do all of this kind of stuff, but none of them are this seamless and efficient and require you to open up Canva and download this. Maybe you get a Word document and you upload it into this other thing and then you use this other thing for your signature platform. So do you need Fresh books? No, you could do all of these things with five different tools, but would you want to use five different tools? That's kind of the thing where nothing it's doing here candidly is super revolutionary, but the real value of this tool is how easy it is and how seamless it is to do everything. You're busy. You need to get things done in FreshBooks. Everything you do is almost under five minutes. Basically, you just click around, get anything you need done and you're done the task and it's doing a lot of it for you automatically. You're not messing around with five different systems and wondering where you save this or that or templates here and there. It's all just in one place. And so that just really makes it amazing for someone who's a busy entrepreneur who has multiple clients, is, has a business to run, doesn't have a huge team behind them or some kind of accountant to do all this for them. And speaking of all the other things that FreshBooks just helps you centralize so you're not in five or 10 different tools when you're trying to manage all the things you can bill. For example, if you do retainers, FreshBooks can help you create your retainers and then track the time against those retainers. So for example, if we have a $3,000 retainer for our Google Ads services and say that gives them 20 hours a month, 
Well, then after we get that retainer going, we can start tracking our time against that retainer. And that way we know exactly how many hours are left. And we can just go to report here and send a retainer summary to our client at the end of the month so they know how much of the retainer they've used. So it just really makes things a lot easier and more seamless. But if you're not on a retainer and you need to do the work and expense your client, you can do that as well. So you can go to time tracking here and you can easily start tracking time against all your billable hours. So just go to new entry. You can choose your customer, say it's this one and say it's this. So you did one hour and you wanna actually make it billable. If you have a retainer, you can apply it towards that retainer. If you didn't wanna track it directly in the retainer. And so you have it's billable. And so you see right there. And once that's done, you can actually go to generate invoice and then add up all the times for all of your customers individually, right? So it'll separate out all the in individual customers for all the entries you made. So you just track all your time in one place and then you can make the invoices after for all your clients. You don't have to track a separate sheet for each of your clients or anything like that. Again, it makes things really easy. There's no juggling Google Sheets or anything like that. And you get to invoice them directly from here. And along the same lines, projects allow you to track much more complex projects. And so you can have a project manager, you can add members of your team, you can actually invite even your clients into this, you can track your expenses against the project. And again, all of it's in one place and you can invoice that against the client. And that way you'll be really able to keep track of your internal hours, your expenses, and see how profitable you really are. And speaking of profitability and tracking expenses, another thing FreshBooks does for you automatically is it keeps track of all of your expenses and it can even help you do some financial reports. Some accounting types geek out over this kind of stuff, but frankly, if you're anything like me, I absolutely hate doing all of this. Accounting is like an alien language to me. I just don't enjoy it at all. But we all have to do it as business owners, especially come tax season. And thankfully, FreshBooks makes this really, really easy. Basically, you just connect your bank account in a few clicks. It's basically gonna pull all your expenses automatically and it's gonna categorize them instantly so you can see right here. And since FreshBooks will know all the money coming into your account, and it'll know what's going out of your account, it can actually help you run in one click a whole bunch of accounting reports you see here. So to recap, FreshBooks helps you automate recurring invoices, send payment reminders, apply late fees automatically and accept frictionless online payments. It can also help you track your time for retainers and projects and send estimates or proposals if that's part of your process. And finally, it can help you automate your expense tracking and gives you ready-made financial reports so you can really understand how your business is performing. Again, if you wanna try FreshBooks, click the link below and you can get a 30-day free trial with no credit card needed. Once it's set up, you can let the system do the work and actually get back to running your business. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Speaking of which, here's another automation tutorial to help you get more done faster.